way. Uh, we're required to do that in Banner uh, to establish your atten uh, uh, attendance. Uh, you need to all make sure you get your uh, complete your registration uh, this week also. Uh, I think this class has uh, nine students in it, I think, nine or ten. Uh, we're fine if y'all can uh, all go out and make sure y'all uh, clear up your uh, your tuition for the class. So this is course syllabus. In, uh, let me shrink it, uh, shrink it down a little bit. <laughs> Not that much, Rich. Okay. So, uh, the only prerequisite for this course is DC, so everybody should already have DC. That's a three credit hour course. It's going to be from January the 11th up through March the 5th, uh, 5.30 to 9.10. Uh, Bessemer Campus, and we're on campus, of course, will be in the uh, H111. This is in the Ethel Hall building. Uh, which is the last building on the right. Uh, of course, we got a compressor in this room. We've got here. Uh, the last building on the right before you go out the, uh, the, the south gate, which is locked anyway. So you'll have to come all the way around the campus to get to this building. Uh, and of course, uh, like, uh, similar to, uh, the last semester, uh, you'll have to sign an identity uh, for, uh, form, and also every time you come in, you'll have to sign a form uh, stating you haven't had any contact with anybody that's been diagnosed. And the uh, same forms that y'all did uh, last last time. Uh, this is my contact information here. I think there's a little more. I think on the uh, uh, and we'll also have remind available. So when you take the course syllabus. Uh, it's going to ask you, uh, is it okay? You'll give me a, a cell phone uh, that, or phone of what I can text to. And it's going to ask you for permission uh, for me to send text. Uh, I will send out a text from something called Remind. And uh, once, but you have to reply to it. If you don't reply to it, uh, then uh, then you won't be uh, you won't be enrolled into the texting application. So that's uh, you'll need to watch out for that. Uh, when we send it out, so we'll come out since the syllabus quiz and everything's due this week. Uh, I'll probably set up the remind class for this uh, for this course uh, probably this this weekend. Okay, so textbook. There's no textbook required for the class. Of course, you need a computer uh, with internet access, and you need to have a microphone, and you have to have a webcam for a virtual class. Uh, and like I said, it depends on the size of the class, how we're going to split the class up, if we have to split the class up at all. But right now, it looks like that we can uh, we can uh, handle it, but we'll we'll have to just look and see when it comes on. Uh, digital multimeter need to have safety glasses with side shields, and then you need a USB drive uh, just in case you want to download uh, download something or take something. We got a lot of uh, information out there on the Blackboard site. Uh, which I'll bring up a lot of reference material and stuff like that that you might want to, uh, you know, download to a thumb drive or your computer or so. Uh, these are what we're going to be doing. Uh, of course, we've got three tests in the class, a final exam. Uh, we're going to do labs. We're going to do learn about lockout, tagout, uh, of course, safety procedures, which is very, very important when working in manufacturing. A lot of terms. We'll look at some troubleshooting techniques. Uh, we'll We'll understand how a system actually operates and figures out, and then we'll figure out some you know, documents that we'll learn. How, we'll teach y'all how to set up to make uh, troubleshooting uh, these automated systems a lot easier. <clears throat> this is the way you'll be uh, scaled for the class. So just uh, completing your first week uh, courses and assignments that gives you that's five percent, which is half a letter grade, guys. Uh, three tests, uh, assignments and homework, labs, required supplies, final exam. So these are, are the weights uh, that will hold toward the class. Of course, all the classes, all the career tech classes are being offered as uh, as hybrid classes uh, this semester, uh, which means some of the lectures will be on campus, some of them will be virtual, uh, but all the labs that we'll do, those will be on campus. Uh, like I said, we're in the we're in the hall building in uh, in H111, which is beside the robotics lab. If any of y'all had had robotics, 
Uh, we'll have uh, three tests during the term. Uh, we'll probably take our tests on campus. It's a lot easier to do that than to, than to uh, do any type of Proctor, Proctor U or anything like that, or even Proctor on, online. We'll probably come on campus and, and take those three tests. Uh, the first test, uh, the test, the calendar, by the way, is already uh, up for this class. I think the well, what we do is we have uh, the first test will be on the fifth class, and then after that we'll have a test every four classes. Uh, and then uh, what we do, of course, is that uh, we don't give makeup tests, but this is going to be a little different this semester uh, because of all the COVID-19 and stuff that that goes along. So if you uh, have proof that you've been exposed or you check positive for for a covid uh then you need to uh, uh you know provide me with that paperwork and if i have that proof then we're going to let you uh, have an opportunity to make up make up work uh besides but if we don't have the proof that you got it so if you think you got it you need to get tested guys and don't just think you got it just go ahead and get tested and, and provide that information with me and if we do, we'll let you make up a test. Uh, but if you don't have that problem, then we don't have any make up tests. But what we do, uh, people that's had my classes before or, or even some of the other instructors, uh, what we do is we let you drop your lowest test score at the end of the term. So, uh, well, actually, I start, I start dropping them at test two. Uh, test one, of course, uh, then test two, uh, if you make real bad on test one, I'll, uh, so but that way you'll basically have a, a running sum of how you're how you're doing on your on your on your test average. So we only count two of their tests, and that'll be the two tests that you score the highest on. Uh, of course, first week's very very important. Uh, we have all our first week quizzes uh, and agreements uh, that you need to go ahead and take care of. I'll make sure you'll find, you know exactly where those are located in in Blackboard to so get that done. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, all the other ones count toward completion of assignment one, but you really, really want to make sure that you uh, submit the syllabus agreement. Uh, that's what we actually use to establish your attendance for the class in, in what we call uh, this banner system or this My Lawson that you're in. So we have uh, several, of course, you have a syllabus quiz, you have a syllabus agreement, and then we have some policies, uh, policies like the dress code policy, the the smoking on campus policy when you do come on campus uh, that you'll need to read those procedures and like I said I'll show you all where those and you'll have to uh, agree to those assignments uh, some of y'all taken my class before basically we have uh, five assignments in the class uh, I'll show you all where those are at inside the the, 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 uh, you know, the blackboard site as soon as we get there uh, labs uh, well, this class is normally predominantly lab but we'll see basically how we're going to split uh, last time we had to split the lab because we didn't have uh, we couldn't social distance uh, we'll see what we can do this semester because we got whiteboards and stuff that we can put up between the, the lab stations so we might uh, work it out uh, labs basically we don't we, we scale the labs i think by two lab grades uh, so that means if you're absent when we're doing lab you know, well, we can scale. That'll be one of your lowest labs that you drop. But just like before, if uh, if you're diagnosed with uh, exposure or infection with COVID-19, uh, when these labs are due, if you can provide me with that paperwork, then what we can do is if you don't have time to make up labs, uh, like if you, you know, if you, if you score 100 on them and you miss two days, that would be the two labs you miss anyway. But if you score real low on a lab and you decide you want to make it up, then what, and uh, we don't really have any time in lab, but what we'll do, or what I'll do is give you an in, incomplete lab in, in the, in the class. And then you'll have the first three weeks of the summer semester to come in and, and finish up that. But wait and see if once I drop your lowest labs, if they don't, if they don't take care of it anyway for you. Uh, final exam, of course, it's comprehensive. Anybody that has mine, and all we do is we just pull questions off the three, three other tests. Uh, we make those tests available uh, to you uh, to go in and review for test two before you take test three, and then uh, I mean test one before you take test two, and test two before you take test three, and then review test three before you take 
uh, the final exams. Uh, grade averages, these are uh, where your scale falls at. Of course, this is one of your major, major classes, so you have to score at least a C to pass the course. So that means if you make a D in the class, uh, then that means you'll have to retake it. Uh, most people, you know, uh, do the labs. The labs here are pretty, uh, uh, they're, they're intense, but they're not hard uh, to pass. So, you know, if you just can do the labs, uh, they're like 35% of your grade, then you'll do, you'll do pretty well in the class. And like I said, this class right here, uh, I don't think we've ever had any problems with the people getting out of it. Recorded lectures, uh, we do attempt to record every lecture. In fact, I'm recording this uh, right now. Uh, it'll be called, you know, Introduction to AUT 208. Uh, I upload my lectures to YouTube. But what you have to understand that these things are uh, actually recorded during class. Uh, so I don't have, I can't go back and edit them if I say something a little wrong, which I do every once in a while. Most of y'all knew what, know what I meant, <laughs> even though I say the wrong thing. Uh, and also sometimes uh, these things get corrupted. This has happened more than once where uh, when I try to upload it, it'll tell me that the file got corrupted. So, you know, don't totally depend on these lectures, but this is a really good thing to use uh, that if you if you have to miss a class especially a lecture class uh, you always have the ability to go back and, and look at this uh, on YouTube unfortunately they take so long to upload that I only upload them every uh, on Fridays uh, but this would give you the weekend where you can go back and look at that uh, most of the stuff right now I'm going to try to, uh, uh, because you're going to have to go back and read the syllabus anyway. I'm just going to iterate on just look at some of uh, the important stuff, like withdrawals. So somebody's already took the, the syllabus quiz, and they put on that syllabus quiz that I would I would withdraw them from the class if they stop attending. And, of course, they missed that. I cannot withdraw you from a class. So what happens if you do not withdraw from the class and you just stop coming, then you're graded just like you're here. So if you don't take a test, you make a zero on it. If you don't do a lab, you make a zero on it. And the end of the semester, you get an L. I cannot withdraw you from a class. You have to withdraw yourself. So down inside the, uh, the uh, online links, uh, there is a link to the e-withdrawal, but you'll have to contact uh, the registrar's office and let them you're going tell them you're going to withdraw and they'll give you a code that you have to enter uh, we start classes on time even even virtual classes uh, I start my classes on time except when my computer dies if you wonder what happened to me uh, a while ago uh, uh, my computer was plugged in uh, to an to a power strip but I didn't turn the power strip off so we when it, it popped up and said you need to plug your thing in and while I was trying to figure out what was wrong my computer uh, died on me. Uh, academic integrity just talks about stealing other people's work. Uh, I had a couple of students that did that last semester so I really watch out uh, for that. So uh, cheating of course, uh, copying other people's paper, uh, plagiarism of course is, is, is uh, claiming other, somebody else's work as your own. Uh, harassment, uh, the, the, this procedure right here too. So uh, if you think you have problems with this class, if something's going on, uh, then the first thing you need to do is speak to me. And then after you speak to me, you'll have to speak to me again because I am the department chair. But what you'll probably do is you'll probably contact Ms. Wilson. Uh, she's the assistant dean uh, for career tech uh, because, uh, you know, I'm the instructor, so that she would probably be the next change. And then if uh, Ms. Wilson can't take care of that, uh, then you can file a, 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 a thing on the course website. And this tells you how to do that. Uh, American Disability Act, what this says is that uh, I legally can't make any special, uh, take any considerations for you unless you have a documented disability. Uh, we can do a lot of things for you. Uh, this class, of course, uh, the class we'll be teaching in is very wheelchair accessible. We shouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, but like hearing or something like that where you need, uh, you know, uh, you know, you need some type of service that we have to provide where well, you have to document that. So what you have to do 
is you, on this campus, you would contact Ms. Renee Herndon. Uh, on the Birmingham campus, you would, uh, would contact Ms. Jenny McCoy, and you would get a, a, a you know, a turn in your paperwork to those, and then they would send me a, a, a official letter that would specify what we have to do so you can excel in this class. Uh, so you you just can't come up to me and say, you know, Rich, I need more time to take these tests because they're all time, time tests. And what you'll find out, a lot of the certification tests uh, that we deal with are timed anyway. So that's something y'all need to get get used to doing time tests. Uh, we usually give you plenty of time to take the test, but if you if you document that you need that, you have some type of disability, you need extra time, then we can we can accommodate that, but only if we have uh, we have that uh, documentation that specifies we need to do that. Cell phones and pagers, I don't think anybody out there has a pager anymore. <laughs> but, you know, while you're on campus, while you're in the classroom, of course, you need to uh, place your phone in a non-audible mode. Uh, this happens every once in a while. And don't answer your cell phone while you're in class. You know who called. Uh, so you can get up and walk out of the class, and you can call them, uh, you know, uh, at a more, more convenient, uh, con uh, convenient time. Acceptable use uh, policy. This basically says all the computers and everything here, uh, these are don't belong to you. They belong to Lawson State. Uh, so we had one student. Uh, he would sit down and he would he was left-handed. So he would change the mouse over and set up. He would change he would change it over to left-handed. Well, when he got up and left, he wouldn't change it back, and the other student would get all confused. We had some students that changed the screensaver. We had students same, uh, change the default web page on our computers that you go to. Uh, you can't do that, guys. These guys don't belong to you. So these computers are set up the way we want them set up. So don't make any changes on them. Uh, of course, discrimination and uh, harassment. We don't discriminate and we don't make, we don't harass other people or other students here at Lawson State. Uh, children on campus, we can't bring our, uh, can't bring our children on campus, uh, especially that would be not really good, especially when we're going through all the uh, COVID-19 uh, stuff, but you're not allowed to bring uh, your children on campus with you. Uh, some notes, uh, one thing uh, in my class, if you come in late or leave early, you need to let me know, even in virtual, you know, you need to pop up on chat saying, you know, you know, hey, Rich, I need uh, you know, to bow out of the class. Uh, just to let me know, especially when we're on campus, because uh, we have we have fire drills and stuff like that, and or, or we we have to, we hadn't had a fire drill in a long time, but it, they could do that. Uh, uh, but if we have a fire or something, and I think you're here, and we go outside, and I call row, and you're you didn't tell me you were leaving, and I said we send somebody in here, then. You know, you need that could cause wait, that sh could cause problems. Or if you don't let me know you're here, and we have something like that happens, and you're stuck in here, you know, uh, that could cause some problems too. So it's also a safety uh, safety concern, but it also allows me to, you know, keep a an act an act an active uh, role. Uh, ownership of material. If you stop attending here, it says again, then you do, must initiate an e-withdrawal. And like I said, there's actually a link on the Blackboard site uh, where you can do that. Uh, evacuation procedures, uh, we'll look at those. The syllabus quiz, you need to make sure you do the syllabus quiz, the syllabus agreement, and all those acknowledgements. In fact, you know, you can probably do them before the next class. I know most of y'all are going to be uh, busy once we cut out of here, uh, so y'all can go watch the football game. I'll even, I'm an Auburn fan, but I'll be cheering for Alabama tonight. So, uh, dress code, children on campus, smoking policies, uh, all these policies are up on the Blackboard site uh, inside the Start Here menu. And, and profanity, guys, let's don't uh, use profanity. Uh, we had a problem in the welding lab, which is causing a lot of problems. And we had two students that got suspended, so y'all need to, you know, uh, especially harassment and stuff like that. That had had a lot to do uh, do with that too. So that's basically a run through with a syllabus. And like I said, uh, uh, by the way, one person took the syllabus quiz and said the the the, the class was ETC 101. This is not ETC 101, which is DC. 
this is AUT 208. So you need to pay attention uh, to the syllabus as far as the start time and all that kind of stuff because that that is the uh, the syllabus quiz. Anybody got any questions on the syllabus? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. So let's look at the website. Uh, I think some of y'all are, are familiar with the uh, the new setup that uh, where everybody is uh, using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and put this on uh, on student preview, so you won't see all all my junk up there. So this should be. Uh, So this is this is the course sub uh, website, and of course most of your work will start off in start here. So when you go to start here, uh, this is where you're going. The welcome letter that we were required to send out, uh, just telling you about the hybrid. Uh, Blackboard uh, looks like you probably don't need to read that because that tells new students how to log in to collaborate, and it looks like everybody did that okay. Uh, this is the actual course syllabus which we just got through looking at. So this is what you can reference uh, when you, uh, uh, when you, when you, uh, and this will load in another tab. So uh, what's nice is that uh, on Blackboard, it loads in another tab. So you could always reference the syllabus and come back while you're taking, uh, taking the quiz. Uh, here is, uh, here is all the procedures and policies uh, that apply to the college. Uh, the evacuation, the, ch uh, the uh, children on campus policy, the non-description and smoke on thing. You need to uh, look at those uh, before you agree to them. This is the place right here. This is where this is time sensitive. This is required uh, from the uh, from the uh, for the first week. Uh, so here's your syllabus agreement. Uh, here's the syllabus quiz. Here's the safety and evacuation quiz, and this is where you say you're going to adhere to all these policies. All this needs to be done uh, before midnight on Sunday. Uh, uh, and then we'll probably leave them out another week, and then after that we'll probably uh, make them all available anymore. Um, so, and of course, there's this. So, uh, I think 5% uh, of the grade is completing just this uh, first week right here. And then, of course, once you complete all of them, uh, it counts as one of your assignments. Uh, I think the first assignment. Uh, textbook, of course, this tells you there's no textbook in the class, required computer skills. Uh, office hours, uh, this should be uh, available to you, uh, which uh, gives you my... Uh, uh, my office phone number. It also gives you my office email, my email address, which is my preferred method. Uh, instead of using Remind, uh, I, I use a uh, texting. I use an application called Google Voice, which is really really cool. Uh, so you can text me to that, and it'll pop up on my cell phone at any time. So what, that's a that's another another neat feature uh, that we have available to us. So that's how you can contact me. Uh, this is the the assignments, and this is the course content. So we're definitely we're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Uh, so here's our course assignments. So right now uh, we have uh, five or six assignments. This is assignment one, which basically tells you to go out and do all your syllabus quiz and all other kind of stuff. So that holds two grades toward your grade uh, it counts as the first week section of your of your grade and then of course it gives you credit for for an assignment uh, by going out and completing that uh, so assignment two this is just uh, sending me an email through your college email account uh, it's a little different you need to read it because if you use your a number account i don't have your name anymore so you need to include your name, but it tells you the requirements for for the email. So you need to read that. Uh, assignment PT1. This is going this is going out and taking a te previous test one before you take test two. Uh, so this is requiring you to go out and take those uh, test one, take take the previous test that I upload after we take test one uh, into the test section, and I'll show you what well, that's at too. 
where you can go out and review. So what I do uh, on my test is I take material off the first test that most of the class have problems to, and it'll move on test on to test two. But what you can do is you can go you go out and review test two, test one before you take test two. Uh, what was happening was my students wasn't taking care of that uh, feature, so I'm requiring you to do it now. Well, I'm not requiring you. If you don't go out and complete test two, uh, uh, if you don't go back and take this previous test, uh, then you won't uh, you won't get credit for this assignment. And this is actually graded. You can take those previous tests as many times as you want to. And what you when when test one, the day of test one, whatever grade you have, your highest grade, that's what you get for this assignment. So it's a good idea if you score a 30 on there, you know, to go back and just keep taking it until you get their, your highest grade uh, on that. So that's the assignments for that. So we have six assignments. Uh, a rough material, this is uh, dictionary terms, symbols, sensors. Uh, we'll look at uh, PID. Uh, we'll, we'll, this is a way that we can control uh, things that give us feedback. It's called, uh, it's got, We'll talk about that. Uh, of course, it's got a, 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 something to help you with you, uh, uh, and then some electrical formulas. Which, by the way, we don't have any math in this class, uh, but that's there. But we are going to deal with a lot of symbols because we're going to be reading a lot of diagrams uh, for the manufacturing line. And if you can't read these diagrams uh, on how they connect up to the PLC and stuff like that, then you're not going to be any good as a technician. So reading these diagrams is very important. So this is where you and there's a lot better, there's a bunch of symbols on the test, by the way. So, uh, but there will not be any formulas. But that's the formula sheet anyway that you can you can use. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So it kicked me out of student view as soon as I did that. So let me bring it back up. So uh, all the powerpoints. And everything are inside here. So, like we said, we don't have a we don't have a uh, all the lab documents that are here, lab procedures. Uh, uh, so, all the lab procedures and everything should be here. Don't look like it's opening. Let me do it over here. Oh, I must not be in. So the labs that we're going to do and how you're graded, the way you're going to have to dress when you're in lab. Uh, hopefully, y'all probably don't wear shorts and stuff like that, but you wouldn't when you went to work anyway. Uh, lab forms, how how when they're correctly completed, uh, and then uh, the the labs that we're going to do in step charts. We're going to be doing a lab on precision measurement. We didn't get to this last last semester, uh, but we do have that uh, available available to us. Uh, course content, and then this is where we're at right now. Uh, uh, so, first thing we're going to lecture on is safety. So, when you come up here and, and uh, click on this, uh, you should have the lecture slides here available to you. Uh, this this is what I will show you. Uh, this is three slides per page. If you wanted to uh, run off something uh, that would where you could actually take notes on. So these are the actual slides, uh, and what they do is they actually have spaces on the right-hand side where you can actually make notes on the slide uh, while you're going through to help you with this. And we don't have uh, we don't have a textbook in here, guys. So uh, you know we need to uh, thank you. Uh, this would be one method that would help you to, uh, do that. Uh, this is our first lab that we'll be doing lockout tagout lab. Of course, I'll hand this, and there's a lockout tagout quiz on this section. So everything that deals with this first module, after module one, which is what we're doing right now, we'll be going over the syllabus and everything also the website. So this is what we're going to be covering. Uh, we're going to be covering safety. Then we'll be looking at electrical uh, basic control systems, symbols and diagrams, uh, function and displaced charts. Uh, that we use for troubleshooting fluid power electric motor and uh, tr uh, transmission of mechanical power 
So what we're going to do is we're going to touch all on this stuff. Uh, we're not going to get into the math aspect of it all. Uh, we'll just talk about different symbols and stuff and how they work and uh, the way things work in here. Uh, so that's what uh, that's the whole course. Uh, this just tells you how to get on Blackboard. Here's the online reference. So this will take you up to my my YouTube channel uh, where I'll be uploading red, uh, courses or l uploading these uh, lectures. Uh, this is where you would go. They're going to send you out an email uh, toward the end of the term, uh, the mini term, uh, with the course evaluation. But, you know, you here it is right here. You can click on that. It'll take you to the site. Uh, this is the e-withdrawal. Uh, so instead of trying to find that on your uh on the loss of state side, I've actually put the actual uh, link in here uh, for you uh, to do that. And of course, what you'll have to do though uh, is uh, drop ad is you'll have to get a code from the registrar's office. So they have to know they have they'll give you the passcode uh, where you can go out and you can finish the drop ad uh, if you decide to drop the course. Uh, for some reason. So that's the website, guys. So uh, this is where you need to start out, of course. And of course, uh, very, very important that you come in and you read these policies, you agree with the policies, you make sure you do your, your, syllabus, your, uh, your uh, syllabus agreement, your syllabus quiz, you need to get all that done before Sunday. So you got a little time, but if you want to go ahead and do it now, like I said, some of the people uh, have already been on the site uh, and they've already done some of this stuff. So, uh, you know, it don't mean you're behind, but these people are are, are really, really ahead of the curve. So, uh, and by the way, you can take the syllabus quiz and, and as many times as you want to. Uh, for the highest grade. Uh, so, and you need to, if you've got problems with that, you know, like I said, we've got students out there uh, that don't read instructions. So, <laughs> so I think on the last question, you're supposed to enter the number, the amount of percentage. And up there, plain as day, it says, don't put, don't include the percent sign. Well, guess what? Somebody took the quiz and they included the percent sign. So what did they do? They messed every one up. So when I said in those fill in the blanks, I have to put exactly what I what I have and the more stuff I put out there. So when you do that, don't enter the percent sign. Follow the instructions. When you when you uh, enter your phone number, put dashes in there just like I asked because I can cut I can cut it out and put it into Remind. I can just cut and paste it instead of me having to enter your your. Uh, your phone number, if you put those dashes, I can cut and paste it when I set up the Remind uh, application. So, any questions? So, the first thing we're really going to look at is we're going to look at safety. Uh, we have our safety lectures to start off with. And normally we do have a lecture the first night of class, but I'm pretty sure that most of y'all are not going to be here. Even if you're on Blackboard, you're not going to be on Blackboard because you'll probably be watching the Alabama game. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the, cut out. Let's see. So let me tell you what we're going to be doing Monday. I mean, I'm sorry, Wednesday. Uh, inside course content. And let's see what we haven't done in the introduction uh, section, which we normally do. Uh, so we'll do an introduction to uh, mechatronics. Uh, you can go ahead and look at these slides. Uh, you can also view this nice uh, 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 video on mechatronics where these people try to explain everything. Uh, so what is mechatronics? So basically, that's what this class is. This class is mechatronics. So what do you think that means? What is mechatronics? Anybody out there got any ideas? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can hear you. And your that was what it was originally. So originally we had a company in Japan that basically worked with mechanical systems and electronic systems. So they created this buzzword called mechatronics. But guys, basically mechatronics deals with almost anything that works with manufacturing. So so drafting's in mechatronics, you know, machine shop is, in me me is included in mechatronics. Uh, you know, so just about anything that we deal with in manufacturing is part of this mechatronics. And this this guy right here does a really, really, really good uh, presentation on that. So you probably need to watch that video. And then also on Wednesday, what we'll do is we'll come in and do the safety lecture. And we might have to go past that. So normally uh, during this this module, normally this is where we do our lockout tagout lab. Uh, so we'll probably have to skip that until we can come home. So what we'll do is we'll just go down the lectures and then we'll come back when we get ready. We'll be able to come back and, and do several labs at the same time. So like we said, these first two weeks are virtual and I can understand why the college is doing that. Uh, basically to get y'all past this Christmas surge, you know, with y'all went out partying and everything for Christmas and New Year's. You know, this will be about, this would be the time that you would start showing, uh, that you would start showing symptoms. Now remember, if you can, if you can handle it, uh, if you do get sick, if you can handle it, you got two options. You can drop the class or you can set in on all the lectures. And then what I'll do at the end of the term, I'll give you an eye in the class. And then that'll give you the ability to come in and do the labs if you can't come back or, or once you get through and you finally get a negative test, uh, and you get back into this class, uh, we'll let you go back and re redo those, those labs that you missed because you were in quarantine. So we're going to be a lot flexible in this class because of that, of that reason. So yeah, but mechatronics is, it's really, really involved. Uh, field, like I said, drafting, machine shop, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, electronics, mechanical, programmable logic controllers, you know, uh, sensors, uh, just about everything that we can probably think about in manufacturing as far as a manufacturing line. The components of a manufacturing line uh, are, in, are now in, uh, included in mechatronics. And I got a slide that I'll show y'all. That's just got all this different stuff jammed in there. So originally, you're right. It was a combination of both mechanics and uh, electronics, but it's evolved over the, over the years. And, uh, in fact, we're trying to uh, have an attempt to get the AUT program renamed as mechatronics uh, instead of automobile manufacturing, which is not, not what we, what we teach. We teach manufacturing, uh, you know, so you can go out and work. For any company that has a manufacturing line, like uh, not even manufacturing delivery line, like Amazon, uh, you know they've got a lot of automation inside there, uh, which has nothing to do with building cars. Uh, even uh, I think uh, Lee Helton, he's on here. He works for Lee High Technologies, and they have a lot of this stuff out there plant, which has nothing to do with building cars, but it would still be considered part of this field. So this is manufacturing. We teach how to get these automated manufacturing systems up and running as fast as we possibly can. So guys, uh, let me make sure nobody leaves yet, so I gotta make sure I do roll. So let me go back to the course and uh, unshare my screen. And uh, let's see, make sure I got everybody on my list so I can do roll. So Austin, Cameron, James, and it's John Dukes. He wasn't in here. Let's see. Mr. Helper. Almond. Addison. Oates. Butler. And Bishop. So I got everybody. It's just I didn't have a Mr. Dukes on my first row. Y'all got any questions? Okay, guys. Y'all enjoy the football game. Okay, y'all enjoy the film right game. Same time Wednesday. We'll be virtual Wednesday, okay?
All right, man. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope y'all's football team. Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.